all this morning. Thought I'd just do a quick maybe Pilates class just to get us all moving this morning and see how we all are. So I hope you're all well. The sun is beginning to come out. So we'll get on with this before you all want to go and enjoy the garden. Oh, look at my hair after doing all my exercising this morning. Lovely. The joys of working out at home. So we're not going to use any music this morning. If you want to put music on, you feel free to put music on. Um, YouTube keeps blocking my music, so I'm going to do it without. So standing with your feet, hip width apart. Nice and tall through the spine. The shoulders are relaxed back and down. Soften through the knees. Find your neutral spine. Pelvic floor and tummy pulled in and up to a third. And take some even breaths in and out. So in and out. Release the shoulders, roll them round. And the other way round, roll. So relax through the neck, take the ear to the shoulder. And up, ear to the shoulder. And up, chin to chest. Gently looking up. Back to centre, look over the shoulder. And back, over the shoulder. And back, so just reach the arm up and out. So reach up and out, lengthen through the rib cage, through the side. And let's do one more. And the other side, so reach up. Hello, Bertie Bear. You going to join us? Mm -mm. No, he didn't think so. He's going to go and lie on the floor and watch. Maybe he's got the right idea. And one more. Let's come up into our calf raises. Come up into your toes. And down. Onto your toes. And down. Nice. Two more. One more. So opposite arm and leg. Lift and lengthen. And lower. Lift and lengthen and lower, open out through the chest, squeeze into the bottom, lengthen through to the fingers and the toes, good work, one more to each side, nice, let's go into our bow and arrow, so pull back for your bow and arrow, either keep both feet on the floor, or remember you could lift that leg, you can turn, so you're balancing, Working on a bit of proprioception at the same time as working through the waist. Two more to each side. One more to each side. Nice, let's do some squats. So knees over the toes, pushing the heels down, relaxing through the shoulders. So two more here. And again, come up into your calf raises and down. Calf raises and down. Hold your next one up if you can and squat down and up. Squat down and up. Good. Two more. One more. Nice. Let's do our squat with our back extension. So you're squatting. You're opening out through the arms, you're lifting the leg. You're squatting. You're opening out. You're squatting. You're opening out. Nice work. Let's do one more. And relax the hands to your sides and just reach down and up. So open out through that rib cage. Lengthen through the side. Beautiful. One more to each side. So I think we should do some balance work. So release through the feet, release through the shoulders. So let's do some balance work. Should we do our opposite arm and leg? So lift and lengthen. Take it out to the side. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. 
take it back. Knee to elbow, take it down, squat, calf raiser. Squat, calf raiser. Two more, squat, calf raiser. One more, squat, calf raiser. See the other side, open out, opposite arm and leg, out to the side. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow. Take it back, knee to elbow. So squat, calf raiser, squat, calf raiser, squat, calf raiser. Beautiful, two more, yep, two more. Come all the way up onto your toes, it's hard to get back down. Let's do it again, opposite arm and leg, lift and lengthen, out to the side. Knee to elbow, knee to elbow, take it back. So squat, calf raiser, squat, calf raiser. Squat, calf raiser. One more. And again, opposite arm and leg, lift and lengthen. Out to the side. Knee to elbow. Knee to elbow. Take it back. Squat, calf raiser. Squat, calf raiser. Squat, calf raiser. One more. Nice. Relax down, walk through the feet. So let's circle, supporting knee soft, tummy in nice and tall. Circle, open out for that hip, release off. Draw tummy in, lengthen through to the top of the head. And the other way round, circle. Good. Take it out and in, out and in. And forwards and back, so squeeze into the bottom. If you need to hold something, remember you can hold the wall, you could hold a chair. Knee lift up and out, so let's open out through that hip. Open out through the hip. Good. Two more. One more. So figure of eight. Figure of eight. Lengthen. Think about working into the abs where you're opening out through that hip, working into the outer thigh. Come into your curtsy. Tap or knee lift. Say curtsy. Tap or knee lift. Curtsy. One more. Well done. Release, walk through the feet, relax through the shoulders. Let's go to the other side. So supporting knee soft, tummy in nice and tall. Lengthen through the back, circle that leg round. Good, and the other way, so circle. And out and in. To so open out, through that hip, release off. So forwards and back, squeeze into the bottom, keep the abs nice and tight. Knee lift, up and out, so up and out. Nice, one more. So crisscross through that knee, figure of eight. Let it all go. Nice. Into your curtsy. So tap or knee left. Into your curtsy. Tap or knee left. Into your curtsy. One more. So release it off. Walk through the feet. Relax through the feet. Unless you do some calf raises to release off through the calves, through the lower legs. <sighs> Breathe in through the nose out through the mouth. So two more here. And relax. So lift one leg. Come in to what would be your warrior three. Lengthen through the fingers. Lengthen through to that toe. Draw the tummy in. So ab work, balance work, proprioception. Bring that knee forward. If you can, bring the hands to the head. If you can't lift the knee, 
tap the foot to the floor. Twist one way and back to centre. Twist and back to centre. One more to each side. Nice. Release down, walk it through. Relax through the legs. And let's see what our balance is like on the other side. So remember you've always got one side harder than the other. Lift that leg, lengthen, focus. Breathe. Draw in through the abs, lengthen through to the fingers and the toes. And bring that knee forward. Take the hands to the head. Twist one way, back to centre. Twist, back to centre. One more to each side. Good. Relax. So let's release soft through the spine with our roll downs. Remember to work at your own level, soften through the knees as much as you need to. Inhale, imagine a big beach ball in front of you. Exhale, tilt the chin, pull the tummy in, roll down, bend through the knees, release off through the back. Inhale, exhale all the way back up, open out, inhale in at the top. Exhale all the way back down. And again, all the way up, open out, and all the way down and hold. So just let the arms relax off side to side. Hello, hello, go on your bed then. Hold one arm down, open out through the chest. Or you could go down dog, well done Bertie. And down, other side, open out. And down, so uncurl all the way to the top. Turn to one side, take it all the way down. And up. And again, all the way down. And up, back to centre. So turn, take it all the way down. And up. And one more, all the way down. And up. So just let the arms rotate round opposite directions, release off through the shoulders, or back stroke, front crawl, always good. And see if you can go the other way round, so circle. Nice. And just release, relax everything off, release off. So let's come down to the floor and walk yourself back to your down dog position. So feet hit width apart, push the bottom up to the ceiling and just let the legs release, open out through the chest and then relax yourself down into your child pose stretch. So come down, bottom onto your heels, lengthen through the arms, let the forehead, let the chest relax down to the mat and just release off. So come to your hands and your knees. Make sure that your hands are directly underneath your shoulders, your fingers are spread. Your knees are underneath your hips, the tummy is pulled in, the back is nice and long, the chin is slightly tucked. Lift and lengthen one leg. So draw that tummy in, lengthen through to the toes and circle the leg round. So circle that leg round, squeeze into the glutes. Keep breathing. And the other way round, circle. Good, and relax down. So make sure that knee comes into the hip, other side, lengthen. Circle that leg round. And the other way, so circle as you breathe, inhaling, exhaling. And bring it down. So let's do opposite arm and leg, lifting and lengthening. Make sure that your back feels like it's a table. Imagine you've got a spirit level on your shoulders and your hips. Opposite arm and leg, lift and lengthen, keep nice and long. 
and come back in. So if you lift too high, you're gonna tilt through the pelvis. We want the hips to stay level. So think about lengthening rather than lifting. The hips are staying nice and level. The tummy is in. The back is nice and long. Good, one more to each side. So come back down and let's thread our needle. So either keeping both knees on the floor, open out through the chest, take your shoulder to the floor to lengthen through the back. If you want to work a bit harder, lift your opposite leg, lift and throw. So lift, open out through the chest, all the way through. Lift, open out through the chest, all the way through. Two more on this side. One more. Good, so come back down. So either keeping both knees on the floor or lengthening that opposite leg. Open out and through. Open out and through. Open out and through. Beautiful. Really try to get that out shoulder all the way down to the mat. Let's do two more. So you're really opening out through the chest, coming all the way through. One more. And come back to your hands and your knees. Bring yourself down to your fronts. So lengthen through the arms, lengthen through the legs. Let's keep our legs on the floor, tuck the chin, lengthen through to the fingers, lift and lengthen one arm and lower. So lift and lengthen one arm and lower. Lift and lengthen. So working through the side of the back, you might feel it into your lower back as well. But work at your own level, see how far you can lift and lengthen through that arm. Two more to each side. So one more to each side. And relax. So let your heads come down onto your hands. Lengthen through your legs. Hips pushed into the mat, tummies are in. So lift and lengthen through one leg, keep your hip pushed into the mat and circle your leg round. So just circle through your leg, lengthening through to the toes, drawing the tummy in. Good. And the other way round, so circle that leg round. Think about working into the bottom, through the lower back, And relax down. So the other side, lift and lengthen. Circle the leg round. Good. So breathe. And the other way, circle. And relax. So lengthen the arms back out. Let's do opposite arm and leg. So opposite arm and leg, lift and lengthen and lower. Lift and lengthen and lower. Lift and lengthen and lower. So lengthen through to the fingers and the toes. Draw that tummy in. Breathe. Good, one more to each side. and release. Come up into your cat stretch. So hands and knees, tuck the chin, pull the tummy in, round through the back, open out through the shoulders, and let the tummy sink, look forwards into your cat. And again, pull up and in. And sink. 
And again, one more, pull up and in. And sink. Relax back into your child pose stretch. Lengthen through the arms, let the forehead, let the chest release down to the mat. Open out through the knees as much as you want to. And take both arms round to one side. So open out through the shoulder, through the rib cage, through the side. Back to centre. Right to the other side. And back to centre. Good. So grab yourself a cushion or a pillow unless you've got a block at home and bring yourself over to your sides. So lie on your side with your ear on your cushion. And then bring yourself over to your sides. So you're led on your mat on your sides. So take your arms out, so you've got your arms one on top of the other, your hips are facing forwards, your knees are bent. Open your top arm all the way out, over the top, open out through the chest and all the way back down. So open out through the chest all the way down and back down. So open out through the chest and back down good so as you open out think about really opening out through the chest see how much movement you've got through the shoulder whether it pulls into the shoulder to release off and open out so do a couple more for me so you're opening all the way out and all the way in so do one more all the way out and all the way in, good. So relax through the arms. You can keep them in front of you. You could take your ear onto your arm. Lie nice and long, so your toes are slightly forward. You're gonna lift both legs off the floor and lower. So draw the tummy in, lengthen through the back. If it hurts your hip, roll back off of your hip slightly so you're not digging your hip into the floor. Lifting and lowering, lifting and lowering. Good, let's do two more here. So lift and lower, lift and lower. Hold your legs up, scissor your legs forwards and back. So scissor your legs forwards and back. Lengthen through to the toes, draw the tummy in, lengthen for four, three, two, and release. Bring the knees in, hug the knees in, open out through that knee, through your hip, keep the hips facing forwards, squeeze into the bottom. Good, two more. And relax down. So give that side a rest and change to the other side. So roll yourself over to the other side. So you've got your cushion under your head. You've got your hips facing forwards. The arms are out. You're opening out through the chest all the way back as far as you can and then all the way down so all the way back as far as you can and all the way down good control your move think about how it feels one side to the other
And let's do two more. Nice. So relax, either keep the arms out or you could take the arm up under the ear. It's your choice, lengthen through those legs, draw your tummy in, so lift both legs off the floor and lower. Lift both legs off the floor and lower. Draw this tummy in, work through the abs, work through the back, work through the glutes and don't forget to breathe. Good, so four, three, two, hold your legs off the floor, nice scissor, forwards and back, scissor, forwards and back, so scissor, for four, three, two, and relax. Hug your knees in and open out through that knee and down. So open out, squeeze into the outer thigh and down. Good. Two more. and relax so bring yourself round to your backs so remember if you want your cushion you can have your cushion you can lift the head neck and shoulders off the floor you work at your own level so bring yourself down to your backs lengthen from the base of the spine to the top of the head the shoulders relax back and down draw your tummy and pelvic floor in and up and take some even breaths in through the nose out through the mouth. So when you're ready, let your legs float into your tabletop. If you don't want to lift both legs, keep one or both legs on the floor. Head, neck and shoulders can stay down or they can lift. But make sure your back is in your neutral position or flat, the tummy is in. Let's go straight to our 100 position. So beat the arms up and down from your shoulders. And inhale for five taps and exhale for five taps. Lengthen through the legs if you want to work harder or lower them down an inch at a time, but keep your back flat. If it gets too much, you can come back to your tabletop at any point. So you are working at your own level all the time. Keep breathing, keep beating, inhaling. Exhaling for four, three, two, and release. Hug the knees in, have a rest. Relax through the neck, relax through the shoulders. So relax the feet back down to the floor. So remember, if you don't want to lift the feet, keep the feet on the floor. Imagine a marble under your heel. Lengthen, lengthen. Otherwise, lift your legs to tabletop. Head, neck and shoulders down or up. Let's go for one leg stretch. Draw one knee into the chest. Lengthen the other leg out to the floor. So reach down to the shin rather than holding the knee. Release the shoulders. Relax through the neck. So if your neck is up, make sure it's nice and relaxed. If you want to work harder, reach down to the ankle of the bent leg. You don't have to, you can stay here, drawing that knee in. Remember, it's your workout, it's your own level. Work how you feel most comfortable and always think about your back, your neck and breathe. Good, let's go for four. Three, two, one, and relax, release.
So let's try our curl out with leg extension. So you've got two choices. You can keep the feet on the floor, hands on your thighs. You are just going to curl up, down, lengthen your leg back in. So you're curling up, down, lengthening your leg back in. If you want to work harder, you are lifting to tabletop, hands to the side of the head. You are curling up, down, knee to elbow, back down. Curling up, down, knee to elbow, back down. Up, down, knee to elbow, back down. So your choice, curling up, down, lengthening, down. Curling up, down, curling, down. Nice. Should we do two more to each side? Remember, you could be here. Up, down, lengthen, in. Up, down, lengthen, in. Two more. And relax, hug those knees in. So relax the feet back down to the floor and let's do our hamstrings. So remember again, if you've got bad backs, tight hamstrings, you can do one leg up and down for 10 and then change. Otherwise, lift your legs to tabletop here, neck and shoulders down or up, scissor through your legs. So your choice, you can do one leg up and down or you can scissor through the legs here. Don't lock out through your knee. Remember to keep that back in your neutral position or flat. The tummy is in and the shoulders are nice and relaxed. Breathe through the move. If you're doing one leg, please make sure you've changed. If you're doing both legs, we are doing four more to each side. Three. Two. One, relax. Nice work. Let the knees and arms go side to side. Just release off through the waist, through, open out through those hips, relax through the back. One more to each side. And go into your full body stretch. So lengthen full body stretch. Nice. Bend your knees. So let's do a little bit of shoulder work. So I know that we get tight through the shoulders, through the back. So if you struggle on the floor, you could stand or sit against a wall and do it against a wall. I'll sit to show you what I want you to do. You're going to lie on your mats if you can. Take one arm to a right angle, so the back of your hand is against the floor, palm facing the ceiling. Take your other hand down to your side in a right angle, so your palm is on the floor and your shoulder blades are back and down. So I want you to concentrate on keeping your shoulder blades on the mat. And you're going to change hands. You're going to bring this hand down, this hand up. So if you can't do right angles, take your hands to where it feels comfortable. But it will give you an idea of how flexible you are through the shoulders, through the chest. So you're trying to keep your shoulder blades back on the floor as you take this arm back, this arm down. If the shoulder blades lift, then don't take the arm back so far. Or maybe you need to take that arm out of its right angle. Good. So let's do two more to each side. One more to each side. Nice. Release the hands to your sides. Just give the shoulders a rest. So let's release off through the back with our shoulder bridge. So we'll all do nice, easy shoulder bridge today with both feet on the floor. Feet back towards the bottom, hip width apart, 
and just tilt through the bottom, come up vertebrae by vertebrae to your shoulder blades, let the arms relax back over the top of the head, and then relax your arms and your bridge all the way back down. So as you lift your bridge, think about each vertebrae lifting like links of a chain off the floor. As you lower your bridge, think about leaving an imprint of each vertebrae in the mat. Let your bottom sink. So your bottom is sinking, you're getting an arch through the back and then you're tilting and coming all the way back up. So that way you're working through the whole pelvis. We're keeping the pelvis nice and movable, flowing. Keep your knees facing the ceiling if you can, nice and strong through the glutes. So two more. Nice, one more. And relax. Just let your feet come together, let your knees release out of the sides to open out through the hips, through the pelvis. Take your hands over your elbows and just let your elbows relax over the top of your head. So you're opening out through the chest. Opening out through the shoulders, through the hips, through the pelvis. Nice. Bring yourself up to sitting. And take your legs out. So your legs are out nice and straight, slightly apart. Lengthen through to the top of the head. Let the shoulders relax back and down and let the hands release up. So spine stretch, reach across the top of the toes and back. Across the top of the toes and back. So hinging from the hips, lengthening through the back. Think about lengthening through the hamstrings. And again, if you've got bad knees, soften through your knees. So two more. One more. Good. Inhale up. Exhale all the way down and hold. So hold wherever you feel most comfortable to lengthen through the legs. Lengthen through the bottom into the back. And relax. So open out through the legs. And again, if you need to, soften through those knees or bring the legs in closer. If you've got bad back, sit here and lengthen and just twist. Side to side, trying to keep nice and long. Otherwise, open out, twist. Three soles over the little toe. Open out, twist. Three soles over the little toe. Open out, twist. Keeping the bottom nice and grounded on your mat. Good. One more to each side. So again, reach, open out just as far as you feel able to, releasing through the shoulders, lengthening through the legs. And relax. So bring yourself to your um, forward fold. Knees bent, hands down, release off through the ankles, release off through the shoulders, release through the neck. Slowly bring yourself up. So the hands are staying on the floor, you're lengthening through the legs into a flat back extend. If you struggle, bring your hands to your shins or keep the knees soft. Again, forward fold, relax, walk through the feet. And then bring yourself all the way up. Inhale. Reach to one side. Reach all the way up. 
reach to the other side and again reach all the way up reach to the side open up for that rib cage all the way up reach over to the side and relax the hands down to your sides so let's lift one leg if you need to hold on you can knees together hips push forwards Lean if you want to into the stretch, you do not have to. Nice, shall we bring that ankle over the knee? Turn the knee out, sit back and down. So you're stretching into that outer thigh. Again, if you struggle, hold something. Nice, come up. Walk it through. Let's go to the other side. So lift into your quad stretch, knees together, hips push forwards. If you want to lean into your stretch. Nice work. Come back, take that ankle over the knee, turn that knee out, sit back and down. Beautiful. Oh, you feel good now. A nice relaxing session. Come all the way up, walk through the feet, relax through the shoulders. So just release through the neck. Good. So remember if you enjoy my classes, please tell others, get them to join my page, get them to subscribe to my Cast Fitness YouTube channel and pass it to anybody that you would like to pass it to. So feet hit width apart, nice and tall through the spine, shoulders relax back and down, soften through the knees, neutral spine, pelvic floor and tummy pulled in and up to a third. Take some even breaths in through the nose, out through the mouth, in through the nose, out through the mouth and give yourselves a really big clap. You all worked extremely hard as usual. Have really, really nice days. Thank you all for joining me midday on a Wednesday. Take care, bye.